think it was, or the day before. Now you wouldn't see me for a little bit while, but uh, here I am! Because I happened to get my free item that I was waiting on for um, Sephora. And there's a little bit of a story to that because uh, last month it was my birthday and I had this uh, free item. And I went ahead and went online and ordered a cheap item in order to redeem the birthday gift. So that's what I did. And then um, a couple weeks later, I um, was wondering about where this item was. So I went on my PayPal account. I saw the charge still pending. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of odd. Went on to my Sephora account and noticed my order was canceled. Uh, but they did not notify me. So that was kind of uh, frustrating. So anyways, thankfully the rep said that I could go into any Sephora and still redeem my birthday gift, even though it was last month. So, I'll go ahead and show you what I got. And here it is. And then there is, there is two different items that they had. Another one, the other one the other came with two items. And the other one was a Tarte, a uh, little lip gloss, and uh, like a, a facial blush. And uh, the color was a little pale for my taste. So, I ended up choosing this, which is, it's called the... Uh, Caudalie, that's what it's called, Caudalie, I think that's pronounced Caudalie Paris. And the first one here is a dark spot serum, and I could definitely use some of that because I am starting to notice a little bit of dark spots around my chin where my acne scars are. So that's pretty awesome. It's a nice size. Looking forward to that. And then this is a Caudalie Cream Sorbet, which is like a face cream. Smells pretty nice too. Um, my only beef with this is that it feels like half of it is air, which that's kind of a bummer, but whatever. And then I will go ahead and show you my Victoria's Secret item. And it's been a while since I've gotten any coupons in the mail from them, but I got a coupon for a free panty as well as 20% off and some other stuff. So I was really excited about that. So while I was at the mall, I decided to pick that up. And this is the free panty that I got. It's super cute. It has all these little peaches on it. And that's that. And then I'll show you my Dollar Tea Club uh, packets that I got. And the first one is this Periodically Painless. And I wasn't really sure what this was for. I'm assuming maybe like headaches or muscle spasms, muscle pain or something. It doesn't really say. It's just called Periodically Painless, I would assume you use it in the same way as you would maybe chamomile tea or lavender tea. It has anise seed, uh, cinnamon pieces, lime tree petals, and some other things. Um, and it's an herbal tree, herbal tea, not tree, <laughs> herbal tea. So that's cool. I'll go ahead and be trying, I'll be trying that out. Second one I got is this raspberry lemonade. And I'll definitely be trying this out the next time I make my sun tea. Um, it has apple pieces, white apple pieces, lemon peel, sugar pieces, uh, pink corn flower petals, raspberry pieces, beetroot, hibiscus, pineapple pieces, um, and natural flavoring. So this is a fruit based tea and I'm really excited to be using that. Next time I make my tea, I'm really excited for that. It sounds like it's going to taste really good. And the last one I got, I'm not really too sure about. It's called Winter Punch. And uh, we're not quite there yet. I just made a post on Facebook yesterday about this. Uh, that fall is coming too soon. I already see back to close. Back to school sale close on sale. And summer close on clearance. And we just started summer officially a couple weeks back. So... Winter punch, guys. I don't know. Sounds like something that's pretty versatile and you can use all year long. But I don't know. It's summertime and I'm receiving this bag called winter punch. So I'm not sure what to think about it. It's a fruit based tea. It sounds good. It has hibiscus, apple pieces, grapes, elderberries, figs, dates, almond pieces, cinnamon, citrus peel fla flavoring, and lemon granulate. So that sounds cool. I guess I'll go ahead and try that out. Uh, even though it's summertime. So that was it for my Dollar Tea Club, guys. And um, you may or may not see me until later next month, early September. 
If I get any other mysterious mail or anything that I think would be cool to show you guys, I will, but I'm not expecting anything else, really. Um, I did forget about the Dollar Tea Club, but there's that, and I will see you guys next time.